so while we're looking at this guy, um, we had a question about um, what the modified fifth leg does in some of these Anamurin crabs. And in, of course, in hermit crabs, we know that that's what they use to hold their shell on. But in lithoded crabs, like this one, that fifth leg is actually a cleaner leg. And so they clean their gills with that, with that fifth appendage. And um, lithoted crabs can actually lift up their carapace to get that cleaner leg up towards the gills, which are more forward of the in the animal. Slight tilt down to the central gills. This poor brittle star is having a very bad day. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could regrow the arms as long as he doesn't eat the central disc. Right. It might take a while, but. And it's interesting that we didn't really see many of these guys without all of their arms. So mm. I wonder Crushing if that it. bare part that we just went over that didn't have any bristle. That's his home Little range. Stars this, is, this yeah, crab. he's cleaned them all out, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Sun stars, those solaster species, could also be uh, feeding on brittle stars. Um, I mean, uh, then the arms are probably a better, they maybe seem more so. opportunistically like a food source than, than the disc. So maybe that's why you see such high rates of sublethal predation in these. Um, but... Uh, this is definitely a novel observation. I'm sure people will be uh, relishing the video for <laughs> for quite a while. 